from Liberty Tech High School. Good morning, everybody, on this Thursday morning, the 28th of December. Christmas behind us. Hope you and yours had a great and Merry Christmas, and we wish you and all a very Happy New Year. I'm Diamond Day McCulley, along with Stan Gerard. Our producer and director today is the very talented Jay Cashin, and the cameraman tonight is even more talented, his son, Daniel Cashin. Again, Diamond Dave and Stan the Man, and Stan, it's the Area Relief Ministries Hub City Invitational here at Liberty Tech. And of all the gyms you and I have done games in through the years, our first time ever to do a game in this gym. Well, I've, I've actually did stats in this gym several years ago, back in the late 2000s. I happened to be hanging around when uh, Dexter's team's won state title while I was working for the girls' team. We come to you from the house that Dexter Williams built. Yes, state champions in this place, 2006, 2007. And those are some wonderful, wonderful basketball teams that Dexter Williams produced here in Liberty's early days as a school here in Jackson, Madison County. Great player, of course, at West Carroll, then a great player at Union University, and then he set his legacy, and it's been a great legacy. He's uh, away, of course, this week with the boys up at Page High School yep. in a big tournament up there. We wish them the very best, and if we get scores, we will pass those on for you. But we turn our attention this morning back to the gals coming off their first win of the year the other night. Big, big performance by Riley Hidrogo. Six threes in the ball game, had 18 points. And how about Mary Grace Cleek, a freshman playing her first game? After she got over a couple of first minute, first minute or two jitters, she dropped in a dozen points in that game and looked like a seasoned veteran. And I thought that Laney, the Bulldog Williams, played well as well. Laney did a great job. Didn't score a lot. I think she had one bucket, one bucket in the ball game, or no, she had one free throw in the ball game. But did a great job defensively. You could see her eyes, her eye, wherever she was guarding the ball, her eyes were always focused on the belly or the hip of the opposing player with the ball, and that's right where you want to be because, as we all know. Where the, where the hips and the belly goes, the rest of the body must follow. Yeah, they always tell you when you're playing defense, keep your eyes right on that belly button. Keep that eyes right on the stomach, and you'll know where that uh, player is going to go. Stan, a great game for Riley Hidrago. Six threes. You mentioned her a moment ago, but, boy, she really she really played well. I mean, it was like six or seven from three-point land and just found, found, the ma found the magic sweet spot last week. Let's hope, let's hope she can find that magic sweet spot again this week and even more depth this morning at the 10 o'clock start here coming up in about 11 minutes jenna joyce is back with us jenna joyce back off of her cruise and uh, you know back off of a little vacation with the family so tca now we can't call them the uh you know we can't call them the trinity six anymore we'll have to come up with a new name how about the elite eight the elite eight i like that so i trust you and your mother and uh Peggy and all the gang had a great christmas up in indiana my mother is 88 years old, and she claims that, and she struggled this year, but she claims it was her last Christmas meal she'll ever cook. And you brought back your favorite drink. Nectar of the Gods, otherwise known as West Side w Pigeon Creek Swamp Water you know, Diet Ski. You know, Jay, he should set me up and pay me extra for setting him up all the time. You know I mean? well, now, <laughs> I, I, I've given you enough. You know, hey, don't forget, if, if, if you're still needing a Christmas present, if you've got family that's not going to come into the new year and they like to read, don't forget that, that good book. There's a, there's a book out called Blue versus Red. There might be a couple of copies left out. There's a few copies left, no doubt. Let's take a two-minute break. We'll come back and tell you about the, today's opponent, the Jackson Central Mary Lady Cougars. They are five, four and four. And again, TCA will be the smaller team out there. I think we're going to be outsized. But, hey, it doesn't matter how big you are. It's how big you play. We'll take a two-minute break. We'll be back right after this as you get ready for the opening game. Three gals games today and four guys game. We'll go over the schedule. We'll tell you at the Lady Lions after they win today where they play and who they play tomorrow. We'll come back right after this on Worthy Road Studios in the Ball Game Blitz. No matter where you are, you can shop 24 7 at HumboldodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Buy a car in your bikini. Buy a truck in your jammies. Buy an SUV in your, well, <laughs> no matter what you're wearing or not, shop JonesChevroletHumboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. We realize you have a busy lifestyle. And at the Bank of Jackson, we're here to help you fulfill all of your financial needs, personal and business loans, mortgages, online banking and bill pay, and so much more. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. 
You belong here. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. Warner Wealth Solutions LLC offers experienced and diversified services throughout the greater Tennessee area. Warner Wealth Solutions specializes in water well drilling operations. Their experience in the design, construction, and maintenance of wells from 4 to 16 inches in diameter and depths up to 1,000 feet. Water Wealth Solutions has three locations in Somerville, Brownsville, and Trenton. For a consultation, give them a call at 731-779-1275. Your life, your home, your business, your future. Focusing on you, West Tennessee Bank strives to serve its clients in every season of life. With vast experience in personal and business banking, we take pride in guiding you through significant events. At West Tennessee Bank, we help you realize your dreams. West Tennessee Bank is a division of Decatur County Bank, Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. West Tennessee Bank, focused on you. From Liberty High School in Jackson, Tennessee. Hi, hello everyone. And alongside Diamond Day McCulley, I'm Stan Gerard. And we're here for game one of the 2023 Area Relief Ministries Hub City Invitational. Game one will feature our TCA Lady Lions taking on the Lady Cougars of JCM. JCM, as you know, dropped, uh, well, the school went out of business for several years and they recently reopened the school just a few years ago. JCM back in business playing playing all sports. Their girls basketball team coming this game four and four, Diamond. Yep, four and four, and the Lady Lions looking for their second win at one and ten. Stan, got to feel pretty good about this game today. I think we're going to play with a lot of confidence. I thought the uh, energy the other night was really well. We won 39-21. Well, you look at the common opponents, and seem only one common opponent between these two teams. JCM opened up the season with a 53-46 loss at Bolivar Central. TCA, of course, went down to Bolivar Central and lost 53-45. So similar scores, an eight-point loss for TCA, a seven-point loss for JCM. Both of those games down in Bolivar. So you put these teams on a neutral site, this is a push game. And that was when TCA only had six players, too. So I like, you know, again, I like TCA's chances in this ball game today. If we uh, can keep can keep our heads about us, don't let JCM get out and run, and I think frustrate them a little bit, we got a good chance. You know, shooting is contagious. If you shoot well, the team seems to, you know, pick it up with each other. If you don't shoot very well, it sort of is contagious going the other way. I think you and I have dwelled on this every game, and we don't mean to dwell on it. It's just a matter of fact. And Coach Cobble would be the first to tell you, and the kids would probably be the first to tell you, you just got to shoot the ball well to win games. And I've got to feel like this team is ready to break out and shoot the ball a lot better. We've had open shots all year, Stan, but you just don't win when you're shooting 25 or 28%. Well, that's what we've been shooting the last last five or six games in the 25% range. You know, down in Memphis, we did push you up to about 35, 36% without looking up the number, but we did shoot much better, of course, led by Riley Hedrogo's outside three-point shooting. Uh, but, you know, if, if we can come out, you know, I know we practiced yesterday. I, you know, TCA has got – I don't know what JCM's done. I know TCA has gotten in some work over the holiday season. So they, they've been together. I think this is going to end up being a good day for TCA. We'll, we'll know an awful lot the first five minutes of this ball. The first quarter we'll be able to tell a whole lot. I will tell you this, too, and not picking on them whatsoever and – Lo and behold, I almost hate to bring it up because it'll be just the opposite. I've been watching Jackson Central Mary from outside. Stan, they haven't hit many warm-up shots from outside at all. No, but if you uh, – They've got some presence if, inside. If, if, you, if you look at them, they pass the eye test. They really do. Physi physically, they pass the eye test. Uh, the, only, the only position we'll have a high advantage at is with Mallory Arnold in the post. And, you know, Mallory's so young still – has, you know, has a lot of work to do. Going to be Getting a great better. player. Getting better every game. Going to be a great player before it's all said and done. But, you know, they've got a, little, they've got a lot more of a physical presence inside. We'll see how that adapts into on-court play once we get going. But, you know, just look at the eye test, a more physical eye test look. Let's take a 60-second break this time because we'll take a two-minute break right before the game starts. This is a 60. We'll come back. This is the countdown to tip off. It's a Thursday morning affair. Our Lady Lions against the Lady Cougars of Jackson Central Mary. We'll be back after this. 
60 second message on Worthy Road Studios. Cooler weather this fall and a colder winter makes a spot even more enjoyable. Aloha Custom Pools massive showroom features a huge selection of spas from the biggest names in the business. Come see us on Carriage House Drive in Jackson today. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. Save thousands on a new Nissan at Carlock Nissan. You should already be here. Special interest rates as low as 0%. You should already be here. We have cars, trucks, SUVs, and the all-new electric Nissan Aria. You should already be here. We even have no payments for 90 days. You should already be here. Save thousands on a new Nissan at Carlock Nissan. You should. You know what? I'm not going to say it. Carlock Nissan of Jackson. Live from Liberty Land in Jackson, Tennessee, I'm Dave. I'm Stan Gerard. He's Dave McCauley. And we're getting set for game one of the Area Relief Ministries Hub City Invitational. It's the TCA Lady Lions taking on the Lady Crusaders from Liber or from um, the Cougars. JCM's the Cougars. That's right. I was about to call, I'm about to call them the Liberty. Uh, I'm about to call them Liberty. But uh, we're here at Liberty Land, the home that... Dexter Bill. Yeah, no doubt about it. And again, good luck to our guys who are playing up in uh, Franklin, Tennessee at Page High School. And we th we we wanted to do coverage of that game, but uh, tournament directors wouldn't again would not allow live streaming coverage. Yep. So we are glad to be here with the gals, and hopefully they can put uh, some wins together here and get a winning streak going. And this season with a turnaround last week with that 39-21 win down at uh, Elmore Park. Nice facility that was. We had, we had a good time down I there. I was really impressed, and the hospitality was really great, and you and Jay enjoyed that um, chicken salad sandwich, too. Chicken salad sandwich. Yeah. Have, have, you know, the only trouble we had was getting out of the place. Yeah. We, we, we tended to make a wrong turn getting out, but we eventually found our way home. We let, Dave left enough breadcrumbs out on the road, so <laughs> we, were able, we were able to find them. I knew if we just headed east, sooner or later we'd get toward Arlington. Yep, yep just – Hell East, like the song says, and everything will be good. Let's take a two-minute break, and we'll come back. Starting lineups and tip-off is coming up next. The Lady Lions trying to win their second in a row as they take on Jackson Central Mary. Stay with us. Just a minute break. One minute break. Hello, I'm Chad P. Wilson with Foundation Bank, a family-owned community bank here in West Tennessee. Your checking account should be more than just a place to store your money. Our foundation benefits with high-interest checking account, pays you interest, but also includes identity theft monitoring cell phone protection, and roadside assistance. Start a financial conversation with us today by visiting our website, foundationbank.org, or call us on the number on your screen. In the meantime, God bless you. Foundation Bank is a division of McKinsey Banking Company, member FDIC. Terms and conditions apply. Hello, folks. This is Gary Dean, right here at Deaton's Carpet One. I want to let you know we've been in business for 48 years. Here's what I believe has made the difference. Our lifetime labor warrant on everything we install. Our healthy living installation, bacteria and germs cannot survive in our new flooring. Our beautiful guarantee, if you don't just love it, we'll replace it. It will make your flooring experience priceless. We're located on Freedom Highway, 1000 Highway 45 Bypass in good old Jackson, Tennessee. Football is one reason to love fall. Here's another. Save up to 16000 on a fully loaded in-ground pool built this fall. Come by Aloha Custom Pools massive showroom on Carriage House Drive in Jackson for full details and see available styles in person. Welcome back. We are here at Liberty High School. It's the Area Relief Ministries Hub City Invitational. Our first game, or well, the first game today featuring your TCA Lady Lions and the Lady Cougars of Jackson Central Mary. It doesn't look like they're going to uh, do a, an introduction of the starting lineups. So I have a tentative starting lineup of was able to glean from some other sources from JCM. We're going to look for number 14, Sharice Ward. Number 20, Elena Normant. Number 21, Sandrea Hurt. Number 25, Nigel Webster. And number 45, Kelsey Hicks is who we believe the stars will be for TCA. It's going to be Mallory Arnold. It's going to be Annie Payne. It's going to be Anna Sanders. It will be Riley Hidrogo. And making her first, no, no, who is that? And that's Tori Robinson, I'm sorry. 
is the final start, and we are away, and here is Diamond Dave McCulley. Thank you very much, Dan, the man. It's Jackson Sutter Murray with the basketball, wearing the green. They're working down to our right. We work up in the upper mezzanine area, the upper balcony. They go inside very quickly. The shot put up by Hicks, no good. And TCA comes down with that rebound. Good Sanders job by yeah, good job by Mallory Arnold uh, getting in there and uh, knocking that ball away. Sure did. Dan, I agree with you. A good start here would really be big. Payne with it. Over to Robertson. Torrey out front to Mallory. Arnold swings it over to Heather Argo. Three established officials in this one. Sanders drives in. Out to Torrey. The three's on its way. Uh-uh. And rebounds controlled by Jackson Central Mary. On the run out this way will be Normant. Yeah, sure. JCM going to try and beat... Trying to try and run down the court. TC, good job of getting back in transition. TC in a 2 3 zone right now. Lady Lions wearing the white. And Drago out there. They flash it in the paint this time. Nothing there. They go back out to Norman. Puts up the three. Air ball. It looked good when it left, but it was really short and it goes out of bounds. Touched by no one. And TC has the basketball. Looking at uh, JC and when they're going defense, they're really packing their zone in tightly. And uh, it's going to force TC to hit from the outside. To get things underway, and here is a JCM full court press, 2-1-2 two, two, full two. court press. And T.C. handles it pretty well. Paul Schultz is in the arena today. How about that? Good to see you, Paul. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Working with it now will be Robertson. Robertson on the right wing out to Hidrago. Riley backs it out of there. They're right in Riley's face. They've got Norman right in her grill. Sanders drives in. Nothing there. Out to Annie, and we've got a jump ball. And the ball stays with T.C. Yeah, they capped that ball. JCM doing a good job on the defensive side. We're going to have to try penetrating in, play the inside-out game to get somebody open. Then that should loosen up the inside. Good point, Stanley. They're bigs. They're pretty quick, too, aren't yeah. they? Yeah, they're playing our grills pretty tight. Yep. They're right in their face. Nice screen. Torrey Robertson with it. Nowhere to go. Out to Annie. Payne's right wing three. and We've got an air ball, and we've got a foul. I think they someone decked Maori Arnold, who was trying to set a pick. No, they get a foul on TCA. They call that on Mallory Arnold. Oh, my goodness. I didn't see that. I did not either. Away from the ball. Turnover TCA. Met uh, Mary Grace Cleek's grandmother and granddad. Yep. Judy and Don. They go to my brother's church up in Dresden. I told them we talked about them at the Christmas get-together at my brother's house yesterday. That's a shot underneath and missed badly that time by Williams, who was right under there and had a gimme and missed, missed it. Yeah, two point-blank misses set by JCM. Torrey's three. Got it. Toy Robinson, top of the key, string music. I like what she did, too. She was open and didn't hesitate. Gunned that thing right in there. If Robinson and Drago shoot the ball well outside, more TCA becomes a dangerous basketball team. Left wing Williams. That's a moving screen. It really was. Now they go inside. A little short jumper up. No good. Over the back. Hicks. Rebound back up. Arnold comes down that rebound and rips it out of there. Good play by Mowry. Woo. Lady Lions have a 3 nothing lead and the basketball. Front court. Torrey left wing, right below us. We work behind the scores table. The majority of our fans are across the way, and we've got a pretty good crowd here on a Thursday morning. Riley's three, no. Rebound, they fight for it. Out of bounds, touch last by Jackson Central Mary. Good effort by Maui Arnold. Here comes Jenna Joyce, and also in the game is Mary Grace Cleek. Judy and Don happy about that across the way. Dad Ashley over there behind them. You know, Stan, I found out I did not put it together. You know that Ashley Cleek, Mary Grace's dad, is like the third leading scorer in Dresden basketball history? Did not know that. Yep. Here's a three by Mary Grace. Up, No good. They fight for the rebound. Nice play by Sanders who came down with it. Sanders inside Arnold. Arnold Take wheels. It up. Probably walked, got away with it. Sanders three right wing, short. Rebound Maui Arnold. Out to Hedrago. Oh, great good pass. pass oh. but the layup is missed. Battle for the rebound. Loose, loose, loose. Jackson Central Mary has it. Tell you what, just good. Sh and a steal, TCA. Cleek takes that ball away. Cleek, good pass. Left wing, Riley's three. Yeah, yes. Riley Hedrogo found that sweet spot last week. Diamond, that was approximately the same spot. And TC with a 6 0 lead. And what set that up was Cleek steal and oh, pass. Oh, nice backdoor now, play. There's a shot up. It is up. It is there. 12. And putting it up and in. That's Brown, number oh, it's 12. You're right. That was Brooklyn Carter. She's so good. Snuck in the game at the last yeah. timeout. She's so good. They named a Burr in New York after her. 6 2. 438. Laura Drago's foul. No call. Foul again, no call. And the Jackson Central Mary folks, not sure. And now it's taken away. Ball taken away from Cleek. Coming out of there with it. Will be number 10. She throws it away. But tracking it down over there is Hurt. They go underneath. Here's a layup. It is, up. It is there. Well, stand no doubt. They want to get the ball inside. That's put up by Williams. It's there. Yeah, and TCA actually got a piece of that ball. 
and it's still went in. Pressure bothering TCA a little bit. Madrago, front court, Jenna Joyce. Joyce back to Riley. They get right in her face. Cleek, nope. a long two up, no good. Battle to rebound, loose, still loose, still loose. Goes off a couple of sets of feet. Down the front court, Jackson Central Mary has it. They can tie or take the lead. Hurt with it. Out for a long three. Uh -uh. Oh, that's off badly. Put up that time by Williams. I'm not sure that that's the shot Coach Jeremy Simmons wants them shooting out there. My shooting videos are still alive and well. <laughs> or Drago, she's taking a beating. She leans over. She's a little winded right now. Here's Payne in the game, Robertson in the game. Sanders will come out, and Maui Arnold will come out. Tisha goes a little quicker, but smaller. Yep. Well, JCM providing good pressure. TCA having trouble getting the ball in. Another foul on Hidrogo. 6 4. They're really hammering us. Bumping her around a lot. Payne with it. Payne out to Riley. They go inside this time to Torrey, and they yep. get a hold and holding down low. That's going to be a foul on 12. That's going to be on Brooklyn Carter. Brooklyn Carter picks up her first. That's the first team foul against JCM. Here's the Bulldog in the game. Hidrogo is going to come out. And Laney, the Bulldog Williams in the game. A little bitty gal. Larry Vales heading to Franklin uh, for a long weekend of basketball. Working in. Ah. And bad pass. Torrey threw it away, and coming up with it was hurt. In the backcourt, Jackson Center Mary pushes it front court and throws it away. Bad pass. Well, I had a chance to an easy layup, just overthrew that ball. Another turn for JCM. Back in the game for. That's Ward, and then yeah, JCM number tw 14. And Hurt goes out. Cherish Ward. Front court, Tory Robertson. Ball knocked away. Now we get a reach, reach. foul. Yep, proper call. Mm -hmm. Trailing official at a good angle at that. And they're going to get that on Ward. It's going to be her first. I thought he got 10. I think he said Adrian Brown. Adriana Brown, I think, Stan. That could be. So it's a 6 4 game, 3 16 left. Gets into Cleek. They've got a, young, a lot of young ladies with their hair draped over the back of their numbers. Makes it hard to see. Lee drives in on the left-hand block. Off Jackson Center, Mary. Man, Tisha retains control. 3.07 left. Tisha, two threes. Led 6 nothing. And it's a 6-4 game with 3.07. Robertson looking, looking. Tough pass. Boy, Jackson Central Mary stand. They're really aggressive. Pretty stout defensively. I mean, you know, if I'm Jackson Central Mary, I play this way until they start calling fouls on me. Well, there's no doubt that they're playing very aggressively, and it's bothering TCA a little bit. TCA, although able to hit the shots, JCM really struggling. Having trouble That's getting a good pass in there. That's a good pass to Sanders. Anna will drive in, throws up with the left hand, no good. Battle for the rebound. Robertson saves it. And to Annie Payne, 10 footer, no. Sanders with it. Sanders very active. Put it up, no. Robertson back up, yes. And the Lady Lions pound the offensive boards. TCA hard work pays off. Robinson with five in the game. Eight for your score. Look at Laney Williams play that defense yeah. out there. Yeah, they're not going to like Laney playing because she'll give what you get. <laughs> I love her. Or she'll give you what they give. Ward with it. They go inside. That's a walk. Proper call, yeah. TCA defense there. Nice defense by uh, TCA Jenna Joyce. And they're set up a roadblock. And... JCM travel with the ball. Here's a full court press by a 1 2 1 1. Full court press by JCM. Joyce and Williams come out. Again, back in the corner. game. Riley back in there. Sanders, Payne, Ugh. Cleek, and Robertson. That's your lineup. Good pass to Payne. Payne drives right baseline, cut off out to Riley. Hadrago cross court pass to Torrey. Robertson on the floor, drives in. They cut her off. Now she wheels and deals, and they get walking. Coming to travel on TCA. Thought we were going to get the foul on I 42, but uh, no go. I like what Torrey tried to do that time, but yeah, they're bumping us around a little bit, no yeah. doubt about it. It's an 8-4 game. Not trying to home it up. We're just telling you what we're seeing here. Four-point game. 21 cheerleaders down to our left. Jackson Center Mary. They're making some noise. Deep left. Here's Ward. Ward out there. Nothing there. To Hicks. Hicks. No. Rebound. Riley Drago. Stan, I keep letting those big guys shoot those shots outside. I, I, I do, too. And you talk about those 21 cheerleaders. That's more than a couple of teams in town had football players this year, Dave. Shot up by Sanders. Crawls over the backboard. Yeah, that's a lot. And Jackson Central Mary wants a 30. A minute 41 left to the game. A game thus far that TCA's never trailed. They lead the game 8-4. Back up to this 30 on Worthy Road Studios in the ball game blitz.
Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. Diamond Day McCauley among those watching the gal we know as Money, Macy Lee, checking in and Diamond Macy Lee scored a bunch of points in these area relief ministry games. No doubt about it. She scored a lot of points in almost every, every game. Yeah, no doubt. Scoring a lot of points at the college level, too. But you're right. One of the great players of all time that we've ever had a chance to cover, she and her sisters. Jackson Central Mary looking at that 2-3 zone. Cleek, Joyce, and Adrago on the back end. We've got Maui on oh, front, those long arms. <laughs> now the ball knocked away. Adrago not, got a hand on that. And coming up with it, Sanders. Sanders has really been active here defensively. Yeah, doing a great job. At one point, T.C. had Jenna Joyce trying to cover their big post. Well, they're riding Raleigh Hidrago whenever she had that. Look, a great defense by Jackson Central Mary. A little rugged. Now, here's the ball knocked away. Coming up with it, that will be Joyce. No, she never had it. Hits the deck. Jackson Central Mary with it. Well, no doubt. It's going to be a physical game all game long as long as you – and it appears the officials are going to let it play. So, Diamond, my response is – Go ahead and get physical against him. Let's see, let's see if it works see, both ways. But that time, Maui Arnold could have been called for over the back. Now the yeah. ball knocked away. Loose, loose, yeah. loose. Walked. And Jackson Central Mary walks. Yeah, had that ball, took that extra step as both teams were kind of swiping for the ball. To be honest with you, TCA could have been called for a, a travel earlier, just a couple of seconds before that. It's pretty rugged. I mean, Arnold that time went over the back of the guy, gal at the high post, Cleek out of the game, and Tory Robertson in. I think Mary Grace is finding out that it can be kind of rough at the high school level at times. She will eventually adapt to that. Just got to get used to it. She's not intimidated one bit. Sanders with it. Out to Tory Robertson. Great fake. Drives in. Leads it. Good pass out to Sanders. Three. Too no. long. Mowry Arnold had a hand on it. Couldn't come up with it. And Jackson Central Mary has it. The Lady got, Cougars. Got to get her some stick on our hands like Fred Bolitnikoff used to have. Yeah, that's good. Good point. Great receiver for the Raiders. That ball was thrown behind that time. Hicks, the big gal, couldn't go back and get it. And a turnover on Jackson Central Mary. Now, see, that's a foul, Stan. Yeah. I'm not, again, not trying to home it up. But that's just a foul. Hidrago comes up with it. Now ball knocked oh, away. Oh, come on. And that time Arnold was fouled. No call. And now they're going to get Arnold on the foul. Good night, Irene. I think they're going to get Arnold on the foul, though, trying to get back and get the ball back. And she was fouled to begin with. Oh, holy moly. That's number two on Mowry. Well, don't do anything stupid here with 1.5 seconds to go in the quarter. Payne back in the game. Cleek back in. Joyce back in. Robertson and Nadrago stay out there. And that ends your first quarter. I think everyone, including this announcer, lost track of what, how much time it was left. We'll take a one-minute break. So far, so good. Lady Lions lead the game 8-4 in a very rugged affair. And Hot Rod Parker talking to the officials as we go to the break. You're watching TCA Girls Basketball from the Hub City Invitational on Worthy Road Studios. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. Buying a home is a major milestone and at the Bank of Jackson, we want to help you achieve it. Our mortgage specialists can assist you with conventional, VA, FHA, or construction loans, as well as USDA and THDA development loans. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson. You're back. Diamond Dave and Stan the Man here at the Area Relief Ministries Hub City Invitational. Played at Liberty, not at Omen this year, here at Liberty Tech. Nice they got arena. The music loud. They, they really do. That's a good, good job by Michael Jackson. Here's a turnaround shot. Too easy at that time, Stan. Hitch, yes. Hicks with her first point. You think Michael Jackson sang that, sang that song well, don't you? Uh, he did a good job with that, no doubt. Working with it now. Robertson loses the basketball. Hicks comes up with it. Jackson Central Mary has that gal up front. They go in the front court to Van Buren. Van Buren up, yes. Van Tie Buren game. just throws one up, and this game is tied. Wasn't a prettiest shot, but it was a pretty result if you're a Lady Cougar fan. Yep, first time we've had it, 8-8. Boy, Sand, you are correct. Working with it now. Robertson. Riley. Over to Payne, Andy out front, Robertson open three. Get in there, it does. Tori Robinson, you could have made a case, Diamond. She got that three a drop. Where was the and one? 
That thing almost was blocked on top of all that. It was amazing. They've got some big arms out there, those big gals, Hicks and Williams. Second lead change. Now they go right inside. Why should they not? Yes. And the shot is put up. It is Hicks. Stan, entry pass that time set that up, didn't it? Hicks is going to be a force inside. We're going to maybe consider double team, but she's got four in the ball game. Got to deny that entry pass, no doubt. Yeah. 11 to 10. Lady Lions lead by a point. Oh, they go to trying Joyce. to give and go. Yep, and pass a little bit behind her, hit her right shoulder. Front court, and that Jackson Center Mary returns the favor. They throw it away. Not sure where that pass is going to, but TCA commits the turnover, and they oblige us by getting one back. Went to the back wall that time, didn't it? It did. A lot of burgundy in here, no doubt about it. The burgundy and white of Liberty Tech through the years. Payne. Now the ball goes right through Annie's hands. 11 to 10, we stay at 11 to 10. Cut down the turnover, Stan. You got a good, really, chance to yeah. win this thing. Jenny Lynn Payne, I agree. Physical games, she says, kills her. I don't like them either. 11 10, even when your team's ahead, you're thinking, uh oh, here's a shot up. No good. Rebound, Riley. Madrago comes out of there. As they say down in Bolivar, Riley H. Here's Cleet with a lane to the bucket. Cleet drives in, foul. And the eighth grader, not to be denied, will shoot two free throws. And Granny and Granddad like it across the way. Mary Grace Cleek has not gone to the free throw line th yet this season. Randy Queens watching from up in uh, Hermitage. Charlotte Bronner Morris watching. Mary Grace's uh, other grandparents. Cleek up, back uh -oh. rim though. Like this kid a lot though, Stan. She's yeah. really going to be a great player, I think. Going to develop really well. Had a great game in Memphis. And she's going to get better as each game goes on She get, as she brings her game up to the varsity level. Ice the mark again in the air. Gets this one. Yep, Dad was, um, I think he's in the top three of all-time scores in Dresden High School boys basketball history. And that's been a lot of great players, including guys like Peanut Wynn, Popeye Jones, and others. Why, they, why do all their great players have nicknames? I don't know. Well, you and I have nicknames, 12 to 10. Now, hello, here's Williams. Stand the man, Diamond Day, both have good rings to them. No, almost a walk. Now they go for the three. That's a clunker, no. Rebound back up, though, no. And stand the size now of Jackson Central Mary beginning to take some effect in the game. Would you agree? Yeah, and they're going to get the uh, foul on. Cleek's going to be her first foul of the ball game. Yep. Turn my volume down a little bit on this um, yeah, I thought it hurts. phone. Yep. I thought it hurts something. A little bit of feedback. And that shot is up no good by Williams. Stan free throws at every level, including college, seems to be on the downward slide. Oh, yeah, it's been that way for a couple of years now. Yeah, it's it's been shot. longer than that. They missed both of them. Missed them both. That's their first free throw attempts in the you game. Keep, you keep notes on things like that for later on in the game if the game remains tight. You sure do. It's a 12-10 game. Give her some help. Sanders in trouble. They got the counter. They got to unload. That's, oh, boy, TCA got a break there that time. Riley drives in, wide open on the logo, Cleek up, uh -oh. air ball. And rebounds controlled by Jackson Central Mary. We bragged a lot, and there's Cleek redeeming herself with a nice steal. Crossover dribble in the backcourt, across the timeline. Good pass to Annie. Payne will drive in, throws one up, they get her for walking. Oh, shot. Yep. Probably the proper call. There was contact, but it was after the travel. One of our good buddies, Andy Farmer and Paige are watching the game. Andy, former golf coach over at Lambeth University. 12-10. Tori Robertson and Laney Williams about to come back in the game. Tori talking to Dad down there. Philip keeping the books. Always feel good when Philip's keeping the books. You know, it's going to be really straight. He passed math class. <laughs> There's a nice move on the baseline. Boy, we gave up the Cardinal sin that time. Brown gets the layup. And Stan, we gave up the baseline and she, baseline and she burned us. We're tied at 12. Yep, second tie of the ball game. Tied at eight, now tied at 12. Payne in the backcourt, looking for help. Madrago with it. Those colorful pink tennis shoes. And oh, that, yeah. Oh, Got to be a foul that time, yep. TCA fans set up a mock cheer with there. They said they've been, they've been doing that the entire game. Yep. Uh, it's, it's been physical. They actually, they actually called that one. That number 10, was that uh, Brown that got it? If it is, it's number two. Cleek and Joyce out. Robertson and Laney Williams in. Lenny Williams wearing Jeff Shepard's number 15. Got to work it in somewhere. You always do. Yeah. I love that number. Working with it now. 
Hidrago with it out to Torrey. Williams. Laney drives in. Laney puts it up. She's decked and fouled. She'll shoot two free throws. Stick it right at the beat. And one of the big gals helped her up. Well, and, and that's the thing, Diamond. <laughs> they play a very physical style. And when you play that physical style, you're going to commit some fouls. Attack the bucket with yeah. it. When they're hacking at you, throw it up there. Let's take a, let's get a couple of free throws. You know what I like about that, Stan? Laney probably knew she didn't have a chance to hit a shot, but she, she knew she had a chance to get fouled. Well, that's the thing. You do that. You take that chance. Now we're good on the free throw. TC now one of three from the line. And the eighth grader will try again. Up, no good again. No Rebound control by Jackson Central. No over the back there. <laughs> All over Robertson. <laughs> Crawled her back. I mean, get those tire tracks off of Torrey her. Torrey Robertson shows that basketball. Hadrago on the backcourt. Lost it, but gets it back. Hadrago's really tough. Whew. Sanders front court. Sanders pulls up, doesn't shoot from 15. Oh, shoot. Not to took it. Hadrago with it. Left free throw line extended. Long two. Back rim, no. Rebound, Robertson dashes in there. Saves that basketball. Sanders with it. Boy, what a nice play by Torrey Robertson. Sanders drives in, fakes, puts it up, and they get a charge. Oh, what? come on. One official, the outside official, says <laughs> walking before. I didn't see a charge at all. Uh, I didn't either. I know it sounds like we don't get on them a lot, but uh, Jay says she may have used her arm to push off. I didn't see that, but. Well, Jay, yeah. Jay was standing at a better angle. Time out of the court. We probably need one as well. 3.43 in the half. We're tied at 12. Jackson Central Mary and our Lady Lions, you're watching the Area Relief Ministries Hub City Invitational here on the Ball Game Blitz. Oh, brother. Buying a home is a major milestone, and at the Bank of Jackson, we want to help you achieve it. Our mortgage specialists can assist you with conventional, VA, FHA, or construction loans, as well as USDA and THDA development loans. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Diamond Dave, you started something you're going to end up regretting, my friend. I am not Butterbean. No, I was talking about <laughs> Debbie Henderson said Butterbean doesn't like the officials. She's oh, fed up with the officials. Oh, I thought she was referring no, to me. No, 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 no. I wonder where you were going with that. Laney Williams probably fouled that time, got away with it. Laney says, if they're going to attack us, I'm attacking you. Here's a pass down low, bad pass, but saved that time. And now Sanders steals that basketball. Anna the other way with a left-handed layup. It's up. It's there. Nice drive, nice steal. And down the stretch for the deuce, and TCA gets the lead back. Mr. B, Steve Beverly. That's his. And here's a steal by Tory Robertson. Lady Lions saying we can play defense as well. Pulls up, throws it up with the left hand. No, rebound, and they're going to get Sanders over the back, I think. Proper call. Yeah, you know me. I've, I've never been guilty of gimmick infringement. Oh, no. Laura Sand watching the game. Scott Davis up in Evansville, Indiana. He's in your stomping ground yeah. stand. Carol Griffin, Lee Williams, Miller's watching. We were going to go shooting this week, but couldn't coordinate uh, the visitation times. Something about standing shooting bothers me. It doesn't bother me about you, Jay. But something about standing and shooting. I like the target practice. Scares me a little bit. Here's a pass, great pass. Oh! Rodrigo. Diamond, that's three point blank misses for them right underneath. They're going to get the Riley goal. on the foul. Riley talking to Coach Coble about that. And to the line will be Hicks. Yeah, they've missed a bunch. Hicks has got four in the game, two buckets in this quarter. Can tie the game. Certainly a game that TCA's got a great opportunity to win their second in a row, though. Up, free throw there. That's their first free throw that they've made. One of three now. Hicks has five in the game. Yep, they're leading score at the moment. And there again. Gilliland. Got them both. Checking in from Crockett County. Well, we're in Crockett County. We're tied at, well, they didn't put that. It should there be, it there it is. That's third right. tie of the game. Yep. Eight, 12, and 14 now. Riley in trouble. Oh. And we get a foul. No, a jump ball. Oh, you. <laughs> TJ retains control. The ball was never tied up. She hacked at once. Riley swung her arms to free the ball up, and they called the jump ball. Tied at 14, 248. Looking to get it in bounds. They get it into pain. Annie with it. Crossover dribble. Out to Cleet. Cleet drives in. Nothing there. Ball knocked away. Cleet gets it back out to Drago. Bad pass. Sanders trying to save it. Does just that. Now it's taken away. This couple of little guards really have quick hands. Driving the other way, the shot is up, no good by Brown, and it's back up, it is there. 
and that is uh, Williams who put Williams. it up and in, and they lead for the first time. Their first lead of the ball game, our fourth lead change in this game. They being Jackson Central Mary. Cleek drives in, she's fouled, she'll shoot two. Well, TCA, again, Cleek, one of two from Cherry. She's got three, in, or she's got one in the ball game. This is, as we mentioned a moment ago, the first time that Jackson Central Mary's led the game. Cleek can tie it with 217 in the half. All right, the mark, wearing number 21 in the air. No. He's one of three there. Now we'll try again. Substitutions. You've got Robinson back in along with Arnold. Payne and Durago go out. Well, it affords now Coach Cobo a little bit more access to change his lineups up a little bit, keep the legs fresher for the second half. Cleek again, in and out. Rebound, they fight for it, and Jackson Super Mary has it. Kishay now just one of six from the charity strike. Tori Robertson knocks that ball away. Joyce comes up with it. Jen in the front court. Joyce will drive in. We travel. Bad pass, yep. And it's controlled now by Jackson Central Mary. Their guards are really quick, especially Moving Norman screen. and Brown. Now the ball knocked out of bounds. Touch last by TCA. They're setting up to block out, and then they're backing into the play yep. while they're coming out. It's moving screen. Really impressed with their quickness of their guards. Now Williams is going to come out. Their leading scorer. Another game for her will be Van Buren. Kalea Van Buren. Get in out front, long three. That's no good. Boy, look good when they love. Coming down with it, Jenna Joyce. Joyce will get walking on Joyce. Maybe perhaps because she was being hung on to. There was some contact. Hurt was all over her. But and, boy, the bench, Coach Coble and Coach Parker really on the official. He's barking back now at the bench. Coach Coble barks back. He said, yeah, I'm, my gal may have walked, but it's because they were all over. Here's a shot bounding around the back rim. No good. Robertson with it. Even when TCA gets the rebound, they're right there, I mean, ready to play defense. you got to really be impressed with their defense, but the officials letting it be a little rugged helps them too. Sanders with it. And a wide oh. open lane. I mean, wide open and missed it. Oh, oh my goodness. I mean, the Red Sea parted, Diamond. Yeah, I mean, it was like no one even – in the lane, either side. Another three, this time no good. They keep pumping them up there, and they keep missing them. Van Buren, the ball goes out of bounds. Had the rebound, let go out of her hands. TCA basketball substitution back into the game for JCM is going to be uh, Shalaya Johnson. Joyce and Sanders go out. So they're going a little bit smaller here at the end, Dave, with a buck 14. Hayden Williams thought she was going in the game, but she, <laughs> she goes back and sits down. Now she's going to go back to the scores table and come in in a minute. A minute 12, 16, 14. TC down by two. Cleek in the front court. Cleek drives in. Works out to Payne. Andy puts it on the floor, drives in. Out to Cleek. Cleek to Payne. Annie's three. Get in there for it. It does. Yes. Nice inside out game. And Payne with her first points of the game. Bringing the pain and gives TCA the lead back, our fifth lead change. Jenny Lynn has to like that, 17-16. Here's a drive, Tori Robertson. Tori may have got away the foul, too. She got her hand clean on the she, ball the okay. first time. Then there was a little body contact <laughs> as the JCM player leaned in for the ball. Well, if you're both coaching staffs at halftime, you go in and say, hey, look, just keep fouling and see if you can get away with it. If you're JCM, yes. Good pass. Just inside the left elbow, shot up there. And it's by Cheyenne Love. Cheyenne Love with her first points of the game, and it is the sixth lead change of this ball game. You know, said, yep, Mama liked it. It's an 18-17 game. 18 seconds. Maui Arnold down low, can't shoot out to Riley. Boy, they're not letting Riley Hadrago get any open looks at all. Riley down low, Cleek. Cleek backs in, can't shoot. Bad pass, they throw it away, and now Jackson said Rivera can't save it. And at midcourt with four seconds left, TCA a chance to get off a last second shot to lead at half. They're down by one. And somebody wait. Eighteen seventeen, your score. Make 
Inbound it will be Tory Robertson gets an inbound pass. Riley go with it though. Riley, three if it goes. Oh. No, that would have given TCA the lead. We're at halftime though, and a rugged game right now, anyone's game. 18-17, Jackson Central Mary leads by one. We'll take a two minute break, be back with more of the Area Relief Ministries Hub City Invitational. Lady Lions down by a point, back after this two minute message on Worthy Road Studios. That was not Hi, I'm Stan Gerard for your local Food Right. Food Right is the home of the butcher. Food Right is proud to sell certified Angus beef. It's the very best there is. All of our beef, signature pork, and chicken products are cut and packed fresh daily by our in store butchers. To feed your family well, Food Right, with 11 locations across West Tennessee, is where you need to go. Have a great day, everyone, and much more importantly, God bless. Is Old Frosty on its last legs? Don't wait until it's old and cold. Give your home and family the gift of comfort. A new York HVAC system with a free 10-year parts and labor warranty from McCoy's Heating and Air. Get the security and savings of a 10-year parts and labor warranty free with the purchase of qualifying systems. So you and your whole family can celebrate in comfort with the gift that keeps on giving. A new York HVAC system delivered by Santa and his merry team of technicians at McCoy's Heating and Air. For the past 22 years, Tennessee Tractor has been committed to you, our customers. That's why our locally owned business delivers great John Deere products with great service at a great price. From the backyard to the back 40, whatever size project your family's got, you can rely on us to help you get it done. From our friendly staff to our reliable equipment and our quality service, Tennessee Tractor has one goal, to keep you and your family up and running. Hometown value, hometown service. That's Tennessee Tractor. No matter where you are, you can shop 24-7 at HumboldtDodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Buy a car in your bikini. Buy a truck in your jammies. Buy an SUV in your, well, <laughs> no matter what you're wearing or not, shop JonesChevroletHumboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Diamond Dave at the half. JCM leads TCA. 18 to 17. We've had five lead changes and three ties in this ball game. Scoring summary from the first half of play. Force for JCM. Van Burn with a deuce. Brown with a deuce. Love and Carter both with two each. It is Williams with four points on two field goals, O of two from charity. And Kelsey Hicks with six points on two field goals, two of two from charity. JCM is um, two of four from the charity stripe, and they had three, four, five, six, eight field goals in the first half. TCA with six field goals in the first half, and it was uh, four from long range for TCA. TCA, one of six from charity scoring for TCA, Sanders with two. It is Mary Grace Cleek with one. Hidrogo with three. Payne with three. And TCA led by Tory Robinson with eight. Lane Williams played and did not score, as did Jenna Joyce and Mallory Arnold. Allison McCoy's tuned in this afternoon or this morning. We mentioned all the other folks. If you're watching, just send us a message and we'll be more than glad to recognize you on this Thursday morning. Hope that you have a great, blessed, and happy New Year just a few days away. And, and if you're uh, on your way out, bring donuts. That's exactly right. Stan, this copyright broadcast of this game today is the courtesy of Worthy Road Studios. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, editing, or further use of the ball game blitz at this basketball game without the written consent of Worthy Road Studios is strictly prohibited. Let's take a two-minute break. Pay the bills. We'll come back. Ready lines trail, but only by one. Hello, Carol Griffin. Glad you're tuned in today as well. We'll come back right after this. Too many messages on the ball game blitz. Stay with us. We realize you have a busy lifestyle. And at the Bank of Jackson, we're here to help you fulfill all of your financial needs, personal and business loans, mortgages, online banking and bill pay, and so much more. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. 
Caldwell Solutions LLC offers experienced and diversified services throughout the greater Tennessee area. Waterwell Solutions specializes in water well drilling operations. Their experience in the design, construction, and maintenance of wells from 4 to 16 inches in diameter and depths up to 1,000 feet. Waterwell Solutions has three locations in Somerville, Brownsville, and Trenton. For a consultation, give them a call at 731-779-1275. Your life, your home, your business, your future. Focusing on you, West Tennessee Bank strives to serve its clients in every season of life. With vast experience in personal and business banking, we take pride in guiding you through significant events. At West Tennessee Bank, we help you realize your dreams. West Tennessee Bank is a division of Decatur County Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. West Tennessee Bank, focused on you. Cooler weather this fall and a colder winter makes a spot even more enjoyable. Aloha Custom Pools massive showroom features a huge selection of spas from the biggest names in the business. Come see us on Carriage House Drive in Jackson today. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. You know, Diamond Dave, a lot of folks watching this game, including Sheila Gilliland, Jalen Payne, Pat Bynum, and others. But, Diamond, there is a guy in this town that claims he's the real McCoy, and we all know that Allison McCoy is the real McCoy oh, no doubt in about TCA that. land. No doubt about that. Hello, Allison. Pat, Take that, Brad. Pat's uh, watching <laughs> up in uh, Dresden. Says she's watching. They're watching from Dresden, rooting for a T-shirt with Stan. Down 18-17. Led most of the game, trailed only twice by one point. Right now, it's a one-point deficit. What does TCA have to do to pull this thing out? Well, they got to learn. They got to figure out a way of, to um, counteract the physicality of JCM in this ball game. My theory is again, take it right at them. Logic says they've got to call the fouls. If you take it right at them, they mug us. We hope we can get some of those fouls, get to the line, and beat them from the free throw line. I don't think they're going to be able to keep up this, the intense style of defense the entire way. So I think we're going to be able to find, find some gaps in that in the second half. And TC on the offense side, just main comp, don't let their deep, don't let their defense and aggressiveness rally. You take your time, use your. How many times do I say it, Diamond? Use your screens to get people open. Yeah, and those two people, and all the people, obviously, but the two people you really got to try to get shots from right here, Tori Robertson who has eight points at the break. Riley hit that first three, her first three of the game early. Got to get her open to get some shots. Hit free throws. And the other thing I see, Stan, too, is there are two big gals. Hicks and Williams have teamed up for 10 of their 18 points. Got to get Mallory out. Mallory always had some good shots today. Yep. Uh, she's gotten a lot of boards early. And we can just get some of the offensive glass and get one of them to drop in. She's had some good looks. Remember that hook shot? That was a nice shot, just a little too strong. But get, get Mallory a little more touch in those shots, and she's going to turn it on, too. One of these days, she's going to have one of those breakout games. It's coming. If TCA can win this game, they move on and play at 1 o'clock tomorrow. They take on the winner of the Liberty and Chester County game, which will be played here this morning, or actually this afternoon at 1 o'clock. If they were to lose this game, we would be back here at 10 o'clock in the morning. We take on the loser of the Crockett County Northside game tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. That would be our scenarios. Others checking out the all-time leading scorer in TCA basketball history won Matthew Valentine. Did you see what his father-in-law did? Yeah. Cut down a tree I, now, and it hit the power lines. All I can say is Out of that, power for four hours. Thank you, Rodney. And I think that made the news. That made Channel 5 News. All I can say is, Rodney. <laughs> I guarantee you Lolly wasn't happy about it. Well, yeah, you know, what scares it. me is I'm coming on my neighbor this morning, and there's a Southwest Electric trucks all over the neighborhood. There's one of my neighbors up the street, about six or seven houses, apparently going to have a tree removed. And so Southwest Electric came in and just disconnected from the power of the house and were dragging the uh, wires across the street to get, it out of the, to get them out of the way while they work getting this tree out. Yeah, obviously with the weather reportedly tomorrow, maybe a few snow flurries, but now, all the news I keep seeing says no accumulation, which well, scares you, me. 
<laughs> yeah, well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Normally when they say you're going to get four or five inches, you don't get anything. And then Irre vice Irregardless, versa. if this tourney is a go, we will be here. Nice tournament here, Stan. You know, this thing started several years ago, the relief area. Ministries, RIFA is one of the big recipients of what happens with this tournament you know, for years down at uh, Oman Arena, now here at Liberty Tech this year. But really, uh, we hope that you'll go to their website, airreliefministries.com. Go to their website. You can see events like this that they've published on there, a lot of other things too. But you'll see a lot of different things that these folks do to make it uh, better for those that really are in need. And, and don't forget TCA, especially during the football season, the can drive that TCA is such a huge part of year in and year out for, for area relief ministries. If you ask Matthew Valentine how to describe the Christmas, he says we had an electric Christmas celebration. Shocking. <laughs> Matthew, be sure and tell him we gave him mention here today on the uh, broadcast Oh, we're going to well. see him soon, too. Yeah, we, I hope so. Down low, they go inside. Hicks turns, fires, no. Over the back that time. And Torrey Robertson, bump, no call. Williams with it. Back into Hicks. Hicks turns, fires, banks, no. Rebound, they fight for it. Jackson Central Mary crashing the board. Should be our ball. Ball goes out of bounds. TCA's ball. And, boy, did we get a break there, Stan. When yeah. I say we, TCA, because they missed two bunnies right underneath. I mean, again, they continue to miss from point blank range. JCM again coming out. Look at their Holden Riley. Got her arms completely around it on the, on the initial uh, play. Andy Payne does a good job going to open space and getting that basketball. Robertson did a good job waiting and getting it through her. Torrey in the front court. Torrey would drive in, puts it up. It's blocked out of bounds. Touched last by Jackson Central. I Mary. mean, on, on that inbounds play, though, the, the young guy had her arms completely around her. Girl. I mean, if you're going to do that, go with the dance and buy her dinner. Jackson Central Mary and USJ boys coming up next. Four boys games here today. Three. I think it's $10 for admission to get in per day. 27 if you want tickets for all three days. Maui Arnold turns. It's blocked. Yeah, double teamed her. Yep, sure did. Front court. Working with it now will be hurt. TC with nice defense Oh, there. good defense. We bragged on their defense. TCA's been really pretty stout as well. I like our defensive effort. Front court, Robertson, good pass, Riley. Hadrago will take it right in, puts it up off the uh -oh. glass. Tough angle, no. Gets her own rebound. Brings it back out. We'll set it back up out to Torrey. Payne with it, 17-footer, high arc. Yes! Friendly Annie roll Payne. off the pig iron. For Annie Payne. Annie Payne, she and Robertson, big smiles. You love that. These kids really care for each other. They really fight and play hard. Oh, and no Academy Award on that last play. 1918. You can tell they have a really good bond, Stan. You know, the, yeah. the Trinity Six is what you deemed them. Now we're calling them the Elite Eight. It's a 1918 game. They have kept their heads up despite the tough going to begin the season. Trying to win their second in a row. Down low, Robertson, good defense. They turn, they fire, it's oh. there. Nice play that time by Williams, who's just too big down there. That's, that's, the a, that's a tough shot, and they made it. Got to give them credit. Sure did. 2018. Front court, Riley Hidrago. Riley with it. Out to Sanders. Sanders backs it out of there. Over here to Torrey. Torrey, good fate oh. now. Lost the ball out of bounds. Now it goes. Jackson Center Mary actually saved it now. Found the back Robertson got poked pain. in the face. Poked in the eye, I think. Yep. Now she's pointing to her eye. She got poked in the eye. Yeah, you can tell a little bit of a redness around that eye, too. Even up here, you can see a little bit. Sanders is going to pick up the foul, trying to get the ball back. 20-19, to 19, Jackson Central Mary's never led by more than one. They're 4-4 four and four in the year. So you say 1-10, trying to win number two. They flash it inside to Hurt. They swing it out here, wide open, 15-footer, got it. And that is up and is there by Moment. Hmm. Norman, excuse me. Norman. 22-19, biggest lead that Jackson Super Mary's had. Big couple of minutes now for TCA. Down low, nice pass. Arnold lost it, gets it back. Arnold puts and it up. No foul, she'll shoot too. Stay with it, Stan, after losing it. Yeah, take your choice of who you want to call that foul yep. on. That's a good pass by Tory Robertson down there too, wasn't yep. it? Got well, to convert these. Mowry to line. 47% free throw shooter by Dak Stan. <coughs> Arnold, yes. First point of the game. Next few minutes are really big, Stan. Absolutely. 524 to go here in the third. JCM with a little momentum going to the half and starting this second half. 
We've got to reverse that time. Missed the second one. Arnold up this time. Byron no good. Rebound. rebound, though. Arnold out to Riley. Odrago, they get right in her face. She's not had any open looks since that first look of the game. She's one of two from outside. Odrago with it. Trying to find a way to get open. Arnold, she nice drop step. Puts it up, missed it. Gets the rebound oh, back up. On. No. And the rebound's controlled by Jackson Center Mary. Diagonal pass front court. That's oh. a walk. And moving in, Jackson Center Mary. They lost it. Odrago picks her pocket. That ball actually knocked away by Tory Robertson, I think. Well, Diamond, I will say this. We're fouling, too. Yeah, so. no doubt. 22 to 20. It is pretty. Grab your arms and hang on. Sanders, three to oh. give the Lady Lions a lead. It is there. Sanders with her first three. She's got five. Our eighth lead change of the game. 23-22. Coach Ken Northcutt, his team will play here later today against Crockett County. Good luck, Ken. He's watching the game, getting a scouting report. And air ball, Sanders gets that rebound. Do you see Hurt push her in the back? Yeah. I mean, it's a lot of pushing and grabbing and shoving out there. Robertson front court. The bench screaming. Oh, gee, Merry Christmas. Bench screaming that Robertson's being fouled. Here's Riley with it. Hadrago can't shoot. Out to Joyce. Jenna, good pass to out. Mallory Arnold down low. Mallory puts it up. Get in there. Oh, oh it came out. And she's fouled and she'll shoot too. Boy, that thing did everything. It bounced around the rim and came out. Again, what I was talking about, even if you don't get it, go in there and get some points. Attack the basket. They will foul you. Beth Culpepper says that was a big basket. Beth, it was. Arnold, right, a chance to increase the TCA lead. Up, no good. Sam, we're really struggling from the line today. Yeah. I have us now one, make it two of eight. A TCA, usually a fairly decent team shooting the rock. 4.08 left. 60 in the third. plus percent. Yep. In the air, gets one of two. We'll take that and play defense. 24-22. Team that gets hot in the last few minutes of this game is going to win. This is the largest lead we've had since 8-4. Yep. That was the biggest lead of the game, wasn't it? That is correct. Yep. They had 6-2 and 8-4. Now they're going to pull it out and look for a backdoor cut or good gap. They go to Williams. Hurts, or make it, to, excuse me, Hicks is out of the game right now. I'm not sure why. Williams is by far their best athlete. Swing it out here to Hurt. They want to go inside, nothing there. They've got Williams down to the blocks, or they have Williams down the blocks, for you English teachers. Now Williams right baseline, paying pretty good defense. She hops down there, spins it out to her open teammate, up, no good. Cleek fighting for that rebound, it goes out of bounds. Touch last by Jackson Central Mary. Lady the Bulldog, Williams back in the game. Sanders back in. Maui Arnold gets the rest, and Riley Hidrago gets the rest. So JCM runs a nice offensive set, gets nothing out of it. Here's TCA a chance to extend this lead. Sanders did a good job getting open on that inbounds pass from Cleek. Helped the eighth grader out. Sanders backcourt, good pass to Joyce. Joyce, nice bounce pass to Andy Payne, up, blocked, and they get a foul. Jackson Central Mary not happy with that call. It looked clean up here, I'm not sure. They may have a right to be displeased. Yeah, it looked pretty clean up here. You're gonna get the foul, I think they're gonna get it on Hurt. I guess we've done enough officiating here on the mic today, but uh, it's been a rugged game. Nah, Ooh. we're not done, I'm quite sure. I'll tell mamas, especially if you're not here, tell mamas, get the lemon out, because your kid will probably need it when they get home on those arms. Annie Payne in the air, Annie rims out, stayed out. Annie, a good free throw shooter. Over 65%, but missed that one. Thing did everything but stay in. Yep. Went, went around the neighborhood there. Yep. 24-22, two-point TCA lead. Annie trying to make it three. Flexes, puts it up, missed it. Rebound, they fight for it, and Jackson Central Mary has it. Stan, we are now. Free throws, if we hit half the ones we missed, we got a 10-point yep. lead. Absolutely. I have us now with five in the uh, seat, 11. We're I have us only three of 11, is that right? Sounds about right. Down low, too easy. Yeah, we Hicks, can't stop Curtis, that. Fires, yep. They get it inside like that, we just don't have an answer. Especially with Mallory Arnold out of the game right now. 24 all, we're tied. With 247 left in the third stands up. That was our fourth tie of the game too. Yep. Bounce pass, Payne right wing from Sanders. Sanders post up, they can't get her. Cleek out to Laney, out to Cleek. The eighth graders playing now as varsity players. Cleet drives in, puts it up, no. Oh, no. A bump and no foul? Contact, no call. The thing you got to do, too, Stan, if you're a player, is don't get down on yourself. You just got to keep battling through this. Keep attacking. Yeah. 
Even when the foul's not called, you just got to say, okay, they're not calling on either end. Let's see if we can do it on the other end. Here's Sanders driving in, throws up one, no. Rebound, they fight for it. Look at uh, Payne going in and rip that ball out of there. Good job. Hurry, Can hurry. we save it? It's going to be over and back. Now, while liking that, she threw the ball. There was the contact, so she immediately threw the ball up to try and draw a two-shot foul. Smart thinking. 20, Didn't give it, but smart yeah, thinking anyway. It was. 24 all, we're tied. 216 in the third. DC trying to eat one out here in the first game of, what, seven games being played out here today. Four guys games, three gals games. Jackson Central Mary with the basketball. Brown. They're working here now to Hicks and Williams are both back in the game. That scares you, that size of those gals. Why, why are they got their big gal working down up high is they beyond get, me. Yeah, both of them out here. Now they'll swing, now they get walking. And Stan, you, you hit the nail on the head. You bring those big guys out, they may travel, and that's what, exactly what Williams did. I mean, those two girls have caused problems all game long, whereas we have not stopped either one, and they've got them playing out there top of the key in guard positions, and they end up traveling with the basketball. Don't say it real loud, though, okay? Just let them keep doing that. Yeah, okay. Tied at 24, a minute 47. Well, Atisha, unforced tournament. Let's hope they're not listening to the broadcast. A minute 45 left. TCA turns it over. We're tied at 24. Now Jackson Center Mary will inbound it under their own bucket. Looking, looking, looking. TCA's defense has really been good today. They go inside. There's that shot and a wild shot. Boy, Hicks missed it badly that time. Now she fouls. It's either going to be on Hicks or Williams. One of them were there. Should be on, and it is on 45, Hicks. Good Hicks. Not sure what foul that is. They're not showing those on the board. I have her with only her second foul of the game, and it's going to be five yep. on JCM. Here's the rule you don't like, but at the same time, we'll take it advantage of it and send Sanders to line. And Anna the on the year, 61%. We need these, Miss Sanders. Yeah, and the way these games are tracking, you're not getting into the bonus until usually two minutes runner in the game now. Dating back to those great state tournament runs, Anna, the most experienced player. In the air, got it. TCA by one. Sanders with six. She'll try again. Missed it this time. Rebound control by. And now Jackson Central Mary throws it away. Bad pass. Torrey Robinson picks it off. Torrey backcourt. Good reverse dribble. Brings it in the front court. Another reverse dribble out to Cleek. Cleek and a three on the way. Uh uh. Rebound, they fight for it. Look at uh, Tori Robinson, does a great job getting in there against the bigger gal from Jackson Center Mary. Ties her up, and the Lady Cougar hits the deck. And Tori Robinson playing it like she should have, playing it like the warrior that she is. Walked, let, her, let, the, let the other team's players uh, help out there, help out, help her up. She just walked away. No, I'm not doing that. Three in there. And there's a three, it's there. Yeah. For Mary Grace Cleek. Mary Grace Cleek with a dramatic three. 28-24 right now, Stan. Any big bucket's dramatic because yeah. you take 40 points and go to the house and win this thing probably. And this ties our biggest lead of the ball game. It is photo op time up here at the press row. Smile, Stan. It's a 28-24 game. TCA fans are crossing away. Adamant about a walk that wasn't called. A wild shot up, no good. Down low, Jackson Center Mary comes up with it. Boy. Williams looks really, really tired for yeah. Jackson Central Mary. Now a turnover, double dribble on Norman. Stole my thunder. I was just going to say, she is, that young lady is exhausted as she's going to the game to go. No, she's going to stay in. How about the eighth grade three? Cleek. Yep. I like that. Now, here's what you do, Diamond. Look, look how Williams is dragging. Attack her with the ball. When you're, when you're dragging like that, you're going to make mistakes and foul. Now, bad pass. Sanders tries to save it, and we're going to get a foul on Jackson Center Mary. Free throw is forthcoming for Anna Sanders. Look at Sanders. She's exhausted. I'm telling you, yeah. Stan, the ruggedness of this game, if there's such a word, the rugged there play is. of the game is really worn both teams down. I mean, look at hands on the hip for well, almost everybody. Well, and, and the deal with TC with only six players, we're in a lot better shape. Well, eight now, but uh, yeah. Well, with, with eight, with, with, yeah. with eight, but still better shape. Sanders, free throw, no. Diamond, I'm, I think we go back to the gym, shoot free throws after the game. 16 times the line. Four of 16. Good. And that's Diamond, unofficial. Dave, that's the only thing keeping this game close. Absolutely. 
Charlotte I'm Morris says, go Mary Grace. Pat Bynum says, way to go Mary Grace. Gina Keltner, our good buddies, tuned in. You hit half the free throws you missed. This is a 10-point game. Surely dude. the boys aren't on the golf course this morning, cold as it is. 29-24, biggest lead of the game, Stan, as you said. Shot down low there, and that's by Hicks. And Stan, why in heaven's name they're not going to her more, I never understand. She is in double digits with 10. 29-26, Cleek in the front court. Cleek almost lost it, but gets it back. Good pass, Hedrago. Oh. Bad pass. Tried to go inside to uh, Maui Arnold. The ball knocked away. Hot potato. Look at the Bulldog. Go after that basketball. Shot up at the buzzer. No. And at the end of three, after Tiche trailed by one, they lead by three. 29-26. Hold on to your hat. Get some hot chocolate and a donut. Come back with us after this one-minute message on the ball game blitz. Save thousands on a new Nissan at Carlock Nissan. You should already be here. Special interest rates as low as 0%. You should already be here. We have cars, trucks, SUVs, and the all-new electric Nissan Aria. You should already be here. We even have no payments for 90 days. You should already be here. Save thousands on a new Nissan at Carlock Nissan. You should, you know what, I'm not going to say it. Carlock Nissan of Jackson. Hello, I'm Chad P. Wilson with Foundation Bank, a family-owned community bank here in West Tennessee. Your checking account should be more than just a place to store your money. Our foundation benefits with high interest checking account, pays you interest, but also includes identity theft monitoring, cell phone protection, and roadside assistance. Start a financial conversation with us today by visiting our website, foundationbank.org, or call us on the number on your screen. In the meantime, God bless you. Foundation Bank is division of McKenzie Banking Company, member FDIC. Terms and conditions apply. Diamond Dave, TCA, if they get half the free throws that they'd miss, this would be a double-digit lead. We lead by three going into the fourth quarter. We're five of 16, a three, no. Jackson Central Mary hadn't hit one today. Good rebound by Maui yeah. Arnold. Jenny Lynn Payne, I agree with you. I'm sort of exhausted as well. She says she's out of breath just watching the game. It's so rugged. Robertson with it. TC a chance to match their biggest Man. lead. Robertson to Sanders. Anna will drive in. Sanders probably walked, got away with it, and now foul on Jackson Central Mary. <laughs> Sanders did walk. She took a stroll yeah. to the park. Dave, as broadcasters, we have a bad game every once in a while. Players have bad games. Officials do too. They're not having the best game, but it's going both ways. Yeah, it really hadn't been an advantage. I, I think if there's any advantage, it would be probably to Jackson Central Mary because they played more rugged. Sanders, yes. Anna stepping up really big right now. She's three of six in the second half. Yep. Again, good. Nothing but the bottom of the sack. And it's a 31-26 TCA lead. Does this match the largest lead? Yep. Third time, we've, or second time, we led by five. And again, they have the big gals. Well, they've got Hicks down low. Yeah. Maui Island on the back end. Sanders on the front end. Now they bring her out for the 15-footer. Uh, no. Anna Sanders has had a great game. Rebound, yes. And here's Hadrago with it. Hadrago to Anna. Back to Riley. Riley. Bad pass. Threw it away. And the touch last though by Hicks. Got a break there. Teaching point. When you get that rebound and they triple team you, sharpen those elbows. They will move out. 31-26, 7-10. Payne back in the game, and I think Cleet came out. Tory Hicks Robinson is, with it. Hicks is blowing hard, too. Tory threw it away, trying to get inside to Maui Arnold. Yes, their bigs are really tired. Of course, as soon as I do, she makes a steal. It's tough for teams, guys and gals, coming back from a holiday. Down low. Nice play, and the shot is up. It is there by Williams. Williams hits the deck after the play. She's got uh, eight. They have 18 of their 28 points, the two big gals. Payne with it. Payne drives in. Can't shoot. Looks for help. Looks for help. Bad pass, but Sanders comes up with it. Anna drives in. And now the ball taken away by Jackson Central Mary. Ooh. They throw it away. Riley with it. Hadrago was fouled. No right call. back. My goodness. No travel. Now here's a drive. Up. Oh, no good. Now Hadrago got away the foul that time. Diamond, how many point blanks have they missed? Here's a pass to Payne. Payne will drive in. Wide open. Layup. Oh. Missed it. Top right. Gosh. Great move. It would not go in. My goodness. Bless her heart. Oh, mercy. And now Jackson Central Mary Coach Simmons has seen enough. He wants a timeout. 31-28, anyone's game. Lines by three, 618 left in the game. Back after this, 30 on Worthy Road Studios. Hello, folks. This is Gary Deaton right here at Deaton's Carpet One. I want to let you know we've been in business for 48 years. 
Here's what I believe has made the difference. Our lifetime labor warranty on everything we install. Our healthy living installation, bacteria and germs cannot survive in our new flooring. Our beautiful guarantee, if you don't just love it, we'll replace it. It will make your flooring experience priceless. We're located on Freedom Highway, 1000 Highway 45 Bypass in good old Jackson, Tennessee. Diamond Dave, Thomas Burns back in the day was in a lot of body banging games and he's checking in tonight. Hello, Thomas, one of our favorites of all time. Jerry TV. Davis, one of my great friends of all time, tuned in, proving that Tennessee and Kentucky guys can still be really good friends. Yeah, now, TB, when he got out of school and got out of college, he started to become an official like Grandpa, but he quit for a good cause. TB now serving our country. Thank you, sir. His granddad, Jerry Graves, one of our great friends through the years. Even T though I would get Jerry Graves and Jerry Carpenter mixed up sometimes. And TB would have made a great official, and maybe will again someday. No doubt about it. 31-28, lines by three. Clock starts with 6.15 left here in the fourth quarter. Lady Lions lead by three. They've led by as many as five. They trail a couple of times by one. Well, they actually trail three. by three at 22-19. A wide open three, no. And over the back, <laughs> Sanders is fouled by Proper Hicks, call. who just went right through her. I mean, you know, used her as a step ladder. She didn't argue, though. She knew it. I'm telling you, Anna Sanders right now, Stan, I have her with uh, eight points. Is that right? Uh, or six? Five, six, seven, nine. Nine points. She's been the player of the game, I think, for TCA. She has been gritty, got a lot of rebounds, played good defense. And, I mean, everyone's done their part, but um, she's, well, by, she's really been – I think a key of this game. Payne with it. Annie's Payne played well. Out to Cleek back in the game. Cleek being double teamed back there. Cleek will drive in. Good play. She waits for Annie to get open. Payne is fouled. That's number three on Jackson Central Mary. So no free throws yet. They have one more to give. Stan, we could be in the bonus here pretty quick the way they're playing. Foul is on Hurt. Boy, Coach Simmons is really upset about something. He takes one of his players and literally pushes her in the game. Going to bring Van Buren back in the contest. I think timeout. TCA calls a timeout. It's a full timeout, but we'll take a 30. 5.49 left of the game. 31-28. TCA with the ball and with the lead after this on Worthy Road Studios. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. Diamond Dave, usually uh, when people's minds start to go, they usually hear voices in their head. Beth Cul Culpepper here is going to hear whistles in her head. <laughs> That's a great line, Beth. And uh, Gail Presley's tuned in. Justin Miller, our good buddy, is tuned in as well. Hot dog, as you call him. Yeah, Justin Hot Dog Miller. He's our hot dog man. Yeah. During, during the football season, he is the field wizard. No doubt about it. And that you know field what? Is, is as good as anything you'll see across the, the nation. It still looks playable right at this very second. Perfect shade of green. And I'm talking at any level. I see college football fields every year myself doing college games, but that feels as good as I, it gets. Cleet trying to get it send in, it has out, to hurry, has to hurry, and five seconds out. Great denial defense by Jackson Central Mary. Dave, on that, you've got to realize and call that timeout to prevent that turnover in a tight ball game where the clocks have gone out. Clocks have gone out. Clocks have gone out. Clock has gone out. Score is still up there. Fouls is still up there, and the period is up there, but the time portion of it is out. Oh, Lord of mercy. They're looking under the table, which is uh, somebody unplugged. Well, always not a good. Now they get it back up. 5:48. I've had I've had to fix the clock before in the middle of the game. Got it was a shocking experience at Lambeth too. We're up by three, so we could just call it. You know, 31:28. I mean, it's yeah. I've, there's too much time left on the clock. Yeah. 5:40. <laughs> the clock running. Yeah, we had our share of experiences at Lambeth through the years. It was a we? shocking experience. I tell you what. When you're using duct tape and guinea pigs, here's a three, and it's an air ball. Cleek wisely lets that ball go out of bounds. 
Now, what, Stan, what, I don't have them with a three. I'm going to knock on wood. They haven't hit a three all day. Diamond, here's why it was wise. It turned a couple more seconds off the clock. True, it did. 529 left. TJ by three. Boy, a seven or eight point lead right now would be big. Let's see if we can increase this thing a little bit. Payne the front court to Sanders. And with a great job of that hand going back to get that pass. Sanders with it. Sanders out to Cleek. Open three on its way. The oh. eighth grader, no. Rebound control by Hicks. Boy, Track that would have been well. big. Granddad and Grandma, I could see the apprehension on their face over there when that thing didn't go in. Good Keep crowd here. USJ's bringing some folks in as well. Left elbow, shot up, Ooh. no good. Rebound, they fight for it. There's a shot up, no good. And that was Hicks back up with a follow. Payne comes down with the rebound to Torrey. Robertson, Robertson front court. It's a two on two. Robertson, oh. bad pass. I'd like to see Torrey. Go I ahead. Like her says, I'd like to see her take that to the bucket. Now Sanders with a steal. Anna underneath. Sanders fakes, puts it up. Got it, Anna Sanders. Oh, big, big play. Anna Sanders with the steal and the bucket. I'm telling you, she's the star of the game right now, 33-28. Like a thief in the night or a thief in the morning. And now we get walking. It's going to be called on Jackson Central Mary. Stand a five-point lead. Boy, if we could take a bucket here, it'd go a long way, wouldn't it? Yeah. You got to love these kids. I mean, they fought adversity all year, and they have just battled and battled and battled. Pedrago with it from six to eight. Hopefully the winds can keep growing as well. Riley Hidrago, they're not going to give her an open look. She has just been covered like a blanket. Hidrago's played a good four game though. Now that's a reach yeah. in, they gotta call that. That's number four, that's a big one, Stan. So now with 4.14 left in the game, TCA would shoot free throws, any foul Jackson Central Mary and, incurs. And, and TCA yet to commit a foul. So this means as, as, as the, and that's number four on Brown. Again, she goes out of the game, but the more that we have zero fouls, the more aggressive you can get defensively. The draw go to Payne. Payne backs out of there to Torrey. Robertson drives in, bad pat. No, they had it knocked away, loose, loose, loose. Now, Torrey's gonna reach in with a foul, yep. After she lost it, she reached in and foul, proper call. That was not the foul I wanted her to commit though. Yep. 33-28, five-point game. Got to stop them, play some big D. 40 points will win this thing. 404 left in the game. I'm thinking 38 could. Well, I'll take 40. I'll take 38 right now with them at 28. Good defense. TCA playing the good D. And again, their best player out on the top of the key. I don't get it. And Williams on the right wing out away from the bucket. Williams drives in, good defense by TC to cut her off. Long three out there, no. Tory Robinson with a rebound. Three Jason, one. Jackson Central Mary, and they steal the basketball. Loose, loose, that, loose, loose. My goodness. Wasn't a travel in there anywhere? Looked like it might have been. Now here's Jackson Central Mary the other way. Wild shot put up, back rim, no rebound. Fight for it, Hidrago really battling down there. They come up with a 17-footer, and they bank uh, it in by Hicks. My goodness. I mean, basically threw one up, and it went in. She's got 12, and it's a three-point game. 3-11 three to go. T-set by three. We're back after this on the Ball Game Blitz. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry, it will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with elite dental care and let your smile say it all. Diamond Dave's 311 to go in this game. 33 to 30, a low scoring physical affair between these two teams, JCM. 4-4 four four on the season, TCA 1-10, and ten, looking for their second win in a row. Points have been at the premium, no doubt about it. Tommy Chapman watching the game. Hello, Tommy. He and Melinda, great friends of ours. And, of course, Reed Rex down at State. Sanders trying, can't get it in, can't get it in. And now... Cole will argue for something there. Five-second right. count. Matt thought it was a too quick of a five. Well, 33-30. We've got to burn a timeout, though, to save that. Or set a screen to get someone open. 
Sanders. Helping her team shout out defensive instructions here. A three to tie the game, and no. Rebound, they fight for it. Maui Owen with a great play. Woo. Hicks had that rebound, and then she just went from the backside and picked it off from her. Yeah. It was a bit of a hot potato, Mallory Arnold. Payne's had the three glove. on its way, no. Oh. And the rebound's touched and tipped out of there, and coming up with it will be Jackson Center Mary's Love. Boy, that would have been big. And he had the open shot. I don't mind that shot a bit. Nope. Just came up a tad short, 33 to 30. Williams, they have Hicks down to the blocks. Payne trying to front her. Now here's a drive, and we get a foul on T.J. Looks like the proper call. Yeah. Williams to shoot two free throws. 0 of 2 there today. You, they made that spin move. A lot, even when you get your hands up like that, you're usually going to get the call against you. Yep, 33-30. T.C.A. led by five a moment ago. Now it's down to three. It could be one if she hits these free throws. 2.36 remaining in the game. In the air, Williams. Nope, 0 3. Yep, stole my thunder. Glance to the side. Cleek back in the game. Joyce comes out. Robertson back in the game. And Annie Payne will come out for the rest. 33 to 30, 236 left. So it's Arnold, Robertson, Cleek, Hadrago, and Sanders. Sanders, I don't remember Sanders going out hardly at all, maybe a couple of times. This free throw is there. It's a two-point game. TCA clings to a two-point lead. They get it in this time to Cleek, back to Robertson. Jackson Sickerberry looked a little tired playing defense that time. Robertson with it. Torrey will drive in. Torrey Wealth off the glass there by Torrey Robertson. Oh, Torrey Robinson, no defense, drives the lane with a kiss off the glass. She's got 10. Like the mailman delivering. Here's a three up, no good. Rebound, controlled by Hadrago. Nice board. Riley H in the backcourt. Hadrago in the front court. T shaped by four with the basketball. Here's Cleet. Cleet drives in. They cut her off out to Sanders. Out to Riley. Your two-minute warning. Two minutes left in the game. Good pass. Hadrago, great pass to Torrey. Oh. Missed the little bunny. Maui Arnold over the back. Proper call. Proper oh. call. And that was the one she put in. Boy, Torrey liked to have that thing on a yo-yo in back. Oh. Great pass that time by Riley Hadrago. Yep. Torrey couldn't get it to go. If she only used a Duncan brand yo-yo. That's number three, so no free throws. TCA will be in the bonus. The if, butterfly edition. Yep. Butterbean is tuned in still. 35-31. Williams trading the play out between the circles. Now they'll go for the three, and it's no good. And the rebound's out of bounds. Touch last by Jackson Central Mary. And Stan, every time they attempt a three, my words come back to haunt me. They haven't hit one yet, and I keep thinking, don't say it anymore, and I keep doing it. And again, if you're a JCM fan, you've got to be going insane while your big girls are out high and not getting the ball fed low. That's where they got all of their points. Or when your guards are attempting threes while they're not down there getting rebounds. And now here's a reach in, proper call, and Tori Robertson to the line, a 76% free throw shooter, the best we could put there at that line. And it's a four-point game, and Tori, if she could hit these free throws in the bonus, she'll shoot two. That's her fifth foul, and Stan would be TCA's biggest lead. And the foul is not going to be on. Is Brown. that Brown who fouls out of the game? Brown fouls out of the game with one field goal. But her defense has been sterling. Yeah. And now Williams, who looks very tired, she goes out. You know, at, at this point of the game, though, with a buck 32, you got you got to get your best in there and just go, tired or not. Say, say youngin. Tough it up, get out there and stay out there. Tori Robertson, yes. You know, that's only her third point of the second half. It is. She had eight in that first half. 36-31. Can give TCA their biggest lead with a minute 32. Tori, yes. Boy, she's a good player. Great golfer and has developed into a really, really, really good basketball player. We may have to give her a name. I've got a name for her if she can continue to hit these free throws. The Ice Woman. Yeah, 37-31. Six-point game with a minute 29 left. Tisha trying to make it two in a row and gut one out literally here against a very physical Jackson Central Mary team. Three on its way, blocked. And Anna Sanders got a hand on that basketball. Anna tells Tori, come on up here with that basketball. Roberts in the front court, turned yep. it over. Got away from her and turned it over. Like the luggage that I tried to carry over the weekend, she traveled with the ball. 37-31, Evansville, Indiana, breathing a sigh of relief probably last couple of days. The man had been in town, his ski and all. 37-31, a minute two, a step back, three. No, a draw, a rebound. 
Stan, the thing about their threes, they've been open and then none of them have been really close. Not, not anywhere in the ballpark. Hadrago now with a six point lead, the basketball. Tisha can afford to be yeah, very pull, patient. Pull Make out. them foul you. Make them foul you and hit free throws. Sanders with it. Sanders drives in and now bumped. Yep, proper call. And that foul is going to be on Norman and Sanders to the line. Well, Diamond, this one should ice the game. It'd make it a three possession game. Well, you said 38. I said 40 would win it. You said 38. This would be number 38 right here. <laughs> I'm not going to Vegas with you anytime soon. Here's Sanders to line. We are a Christian school. Sanders to line in the air. That's number 38, folks. 38-31. That's a big one there. And again, everyone's played well. But this kid right here has been my player of the game. Sanders again. Yes. Oh, Stan, I have her now with five free throws in a row. She's hit. Five and a in a row and six in the game. 40.7 seconds to go. TC with their largest lead of the game is win number two on the horizon. We'll find out after this on the Ball Game Blitz. Buying a home is a major milestone, and at the Bank of Jackson, we want to help you achieve it. Our mortgage specialists can assist you with conventional, VA, FHA, or construction loans, as well as USDA and THDA development loans. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Diamond Dave, stand man. Jay Cashin, our producer and director. Great job as always. And Daniel Cashin on the camera, our executive producer and director here. Paul Schultz, he's got the USJ guys game. Steve Bentley will do that if you folks want to tune over to that network and watch it. But stand right now, we'll take a 39-31 lead with 40 seconds and take our chances, won't we? Uh, it's a three-possession game with an eight-point lead. Dexter Williams. Hello, Dexter. Good luck to you guys today. Allison McCoy, Sheena Keltner, Melissa Hilton, all tuned in. Here's a three up, no good again. And Sanders, guess this who, with a rebound. And now Hadrago is fouled in the backcourt. And guess who's going to the line? Riley says of all the fouls that they've called today, oh, I've, been, I've been bumped around all day long, and that was a little tic-tac, but she's going to shoot two free throws. I thought they were going to send Sanders to the now, line. Right, they called it right before Riley unleashed the pass. 39-31. This was the score of the last game. No, it's 39-21 in that game. Hadrago, Riley H the line. Back rim, though. No. She'll try again. Well, the thing about this, she had six threes and led us with 18. I was only scored three today, but we're going to still find a way to win. That's the mark of a team improving. Would you agree, Stan? I agree. Riley H again in the air. Missed on both. Let's Rebound get away control from the ball. by Jackson and Romero. Do not foul. Now the other way, here's a shot. Maui Arnold says, I'll block it instead of fouling. They go for a three. Here's a three up, and finally they hit a three. Jackson Central Mary. That shot by Van Buren. It's not over yet. 39-34 with 14.9. Still looking pretty good. Stan, let's keep it here, and we'll preview for you. If we can hold on and win this game, we play tomorrow at 1 o'clock by my stat sheet, and we would take on the winner. And let me double check here. If we win, we would play the winner of the Liberty and Chester County game, and that would be tomorrow at 1 o'clock. And more than likely, you have to say we're going to play probably Chester County. We've played them twice this year. Both have been rugged games, Diamond. We owe them yep. for a myriad of reasons. Hard, to beat, hard to beat a team three times in yep. one season. Yep, it is. And you'll be able to watch that game right here on the Ball Game Blitz. Absolutely. Well, Tisha will inbound the ball, have to bring it the length of the court, 14.9. First of all, got to get it in. Don't not get another five-second count. We've had a couple of those. And then after you do, protect the ball and then hit free throws. That's the three things in order. Everybody bring everybody down flat. Have um, have um, Tory inbound the basketball. Let her do her best Cooper Vale's invitation, throw the home run pass. No doubt about it. Our lovely friend Alicia Owens, how she puts up with her husband all these years, I have no idea, but now I'm just teasing. But uh, Alicia's watching. She says, way to go, ladies. And our good buddy and lovely friend Melanie Wilburn's tuned in as well. Oh, by the way, that extra $100 bill is in the shoe. Here is uh, Robertson in the backcourt. First of all, we accomplished getting it in. Now i got to protect it. They do. And now a foul on Jackson Center Mary and Tory Robertson to the line. Well, Stan, after only being 5 of 16 through three quarters, their free throws in this quarter, 2, 4, 6, 8, 6 of 8. That's much better. It doesn't matter how you do all game long. As long as you get righteous at the end. Got to finish. Yep, you got it. Right. 
as long as you finish strong. Yeah. Torrey, no one in the blocks for Tiche. Torrey up. No. Well. That's her first missed free throw. Five of the point day. game. Cleek out of the game. Jenna Joyce in. <laughs> Robertson steps away, which is a smart move, wearing that ankle brace on her left ankle, which she hurt early in the year. Robertson in the air again, this time true. Yes. Troy Robinson with the bucket. Now just run away. Well, I said 40, 40 to 34. Here's a drive in, and it's there. It's 40 36, and Jackson Sidra Mary says, Well, we can't take the timeouts with us with 3.3. I guess you could, but you don't want to. 40 36, 3.3, a four point lead by TCA with 3.3 seconds left. A quick 30. The threes are wild. Back up to this on Worthy Road Studios. Hi, I'm Stan Gerard for your local Food Right. Food Right is the home of the butcher. Food Right is proud to sell certified Angus beef. It's the very best there is. All of our beef, signature pork, and chicken products are cut and packed fresh daily by our in-store butchers. To feed your family well, Food Right, with 11 locations across West Tennessee, is where you need to go. Have a great day, everyone, and much more importantly, God bless. Should be anywhere with it. We're back. Dave McCulley, Stan Gerard with you. Stan, you are previewing what you think TCA needs to do here. Well, they've got a four-point lead. The only, the only thing that Jay's seen to do is get a three and get fouled on the three to tie it. Okay, we've got the basketball. You can literally almost hand them the ball, and the game will be over. They get in to Torrey Robertson. The Jackson Center a bit finally fouls with six-tenths of a second left. They push Torrey in the back. She'll shoot two free throws. Torrey Robertson in this quarter. Five points, she's three of four from the line. And now, Stan, unofficially, I have her with 13 points in the game. Yeah, once they got, once TC got the ball inbounded, that's ball game. You know, one of the biggest buckets of this game was the cleat three. Remember that three yes, she it was? Shot up by Tori, no good. She's exasperated. She can't believe she missed it. She'll try again. Well, she's three of five. In the air again. Good. And it's a 41-36 five-point lead. This game is over, folks. Jackson Central Mary doesn't even get a shot up. And the Lady Lions have won their second straight. They moved to 2-10. And, and Jackson Central Mary, a very rugged and big team. They fall to 4-5, and five, a good quality win for TCA. We'll be back. Two-minute break. Post games coming up next here on Worthy Road Studios. Is old Frosty on its last legs? Don't wait until it's old and cold. Give your home and family the gift of comfort. A new York HVAC system with a free 10-year parts and labor warranty from McCoy's Heating and Air. Get the security and savings of a 10-year parts and labor warranty free with the purchase of qualifying systems. So you and your whole family can celebrate in comfort with the gift that keeps on giving. A new York HVAC system delivered by Santa and his merry team of technicians at McCoy's Heating and Air. For the past 22 years, Tennessee Tractor has been committed to you, our customers. That's why our locally owned business delivers great John Deere products with great service at a great price. From the backyard to the back 40, whatever size project your family's got, you can rely on us to help you get it done. From our friendly staff to our reliable equipment and our quality service, Tennessee Tractor has one goal, to keep you and your family up and running. Hometown value, hometown service. That's Tennessee Tractor. No matter where you are, You can shop 24-7 at HumboldtDodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Buy a car in your bikini. Buy a truck in your jammies. Buy an SUV in your, well, <laughs> no matter what you're wearing or not, shop JonesChevroletHumboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. We realize you have a busy lifestyle. And at the Bank of Jackson, we're here to help you fulfill all of your financial needs, personal and business loans, mortgages, online banking and bill pay, and so much more. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender.
Morgan Wealth Solutions LLC offers experience and diversified services throughout the greater Tennessee area. Morgan Wealth Solutions specializes in water well drilling operations. Their experience in the design, construction, and maintenance of wells from 4 to 16 inches in diameter and depths up to 1,000 feet. Water Well Solutions has three locations in Somerville, Brownsville, and Trenton. For a consultation, give them a call at 731-779-1275. Appreciate all the folks watching today and the congratulations to the Lady Lions coming in in droves. Pat Bynum, Leanne Johnson, Jenny Payne, Scott Davis, Charlotte Morris. Jenny Lynch checked in a couple times, says this one belongs to Lady Lions and the next one does as well. And Rodney, if you need a tree, need a tree cut down, Bomb Gardener is watching with us. Uh, yeah. Rodney, you're never going to hear that ever <laughs> away from us. But uh, yeah. hello, my good friend. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you and your lovely bride. But uh, the Lady Lions find a way to win despite only going 13 of 29 from the free throw line. They win the ball game, and Stan, free throws at the end, though, proved to be the difference because yeah. the majority of those 13 was hit in the fourth quarter. Oh, no and the Lady Lions it. find a way to win this one. Rodney says anyone looking for a good tree company, just call him, and he can guarantee to drop the tree and possibly a power line as uh, well. I saw he, that on social media. He missed it by just that much. Inches. But inches. You know, Sometimes, clean. sometimes game, uh, life is a game of inches. Well, Stan, we find a way to win this thing. Congratulations to Matt, Hot Rod, Jan, and all the game, the coaching staff, Frank Clampett down there as well. But, uh, hey, I'm proud of these kids. They really found a way to win it on a day that they very well could have been intimidated by the physical play, but they found a way to win this game. Congratulations. We win the game. I said 40 would win it. It took 40. Actually, would have only taken 37. We'll win the game 41-36. You've got to look at the stats, sir. Thank you very much. Here is the stats first for JCM, who falls to 4-5 and five in the campaign. Van Buren with two field goals for five. Adriana Brown fouled up with one field goal for two. Love had two field goals for four. Carter had a field goal for two. Uh, Norma, a field goal for two. Williams had four field goals, one and, three, one and four from Cherry for nine. Hicks with five field goals, two of two from Charity for, uh, let's see, five, make that 12 points was Kelsey Hicks. She was there leading score. <laughs> Excuse me, folks. JCM with 16 field goals in the night, one three-point field goal, only three of six from the Charity strike. For TCA, only 11 field goals in the night six long balls and they were 13 of 29 in the second half and like you alluded to diamond dave you hit them when it's money time when the game's on the line when this when this game turns to cash we hit the free throws when we need it for tca mallory arnold two of four from cherry for two riley hidrogo one field goal oh two from cherry for three mary grace cleek one field goal, one and four from Cherry for four. And Payne, two field goals, all of two from Cherry for five. It was Anna Sanders, three field goals, one from long range. Six out of nine from Cherry. She hit five in a row down the stretch. And it was Tori Robinson with 14 points on four field goals, two from long range. I had her two four of six from the cherry strap tca moves to two and ten and they will next play at one o'clock on monday 12 45 airtime against either diamond they'll take on the winner of the liberty chester county game and you know nothing against liberty no disrespect at all chester county's favorite in that game but you never know but uh, at one o'clock tomorrow we'll have airtime at 12 45. diamond dave like you said earlier Hard to be a good team three times, and we owe Chester County, and no doubt about it, should be a good one. And been very competitive in both games, and uh, certainly a good chance to make it three in a row tomorrow. Later today, if you want to get out and see some good basketball, Liberty and Chester County will play at 1 o'clock today. Then it will be Crockett County Northside girls uh, at 4 o'clock uh, this afternoon. Ken Northcutt's been tuned in. Peggy Williams, by the way, just uh, sent congratulations to the Lady Lions. And then later today, Four guys games. Jackson Central Mary and USJ about to tip it off. They're both warming up down to our right below us here. Memphis Central and 
Cheshire County will play today at 2.30. Crockett and Liberty will play at 5.30. And then at 7 o'clock tonight, Northside and Ripley will have the finale. Our special thanks to Jay Cashin today, a producer and director of our broadcast. Daniel, great job on the camera. For Stan Gerard, I'm Diamond Dave McCulley from Liberty Tech. Get out here and support wife and support the Area Relief Ministries Invitational here, the Hub City Invitational. For all the guys I mentioned a moment ago, Happy New Year, everybody. Hope you had a great Christmas. We'll be with you tomorrow afternoon at 1245. Tip at one. Lady Lions trying to make it three in a row. Congratulations to Coach Coble, Jana, Hot Rod, Frank, and all the gang. And good luck to Dexter and the guys later today up in Franklin. For all the guys we mentioned a moment ago, God bless you. Have a great day, everybody. So long.